The IoT Solar Harvester simplifies a problem. Harvesting solar energy, storing it in an auxiliary battery, and using that energy to power an Internet of Things connected sensor. The Energy Harvester uses the LTC3106 from Linear Technology, which is mounted on a custom printed circuit board designed specifically to allow adjustment of some of its features, like the output voltage, turn on and off thresholds, and allows to choose different types of rechargeable batteries by adjusting the over and under voltage thresholds. The IoT sensor used in this project is a soil moisture sensor connected wireless to the Internet of Things thanks to the Sparkphone development board for the ESP8266, which can be set up in deep slit mode reducing the power consumption. The entire process can be monitored with the Cayenne software, where the IoT sensor data can be seen and managed nicely. To build this project, first assemble all the necessary components of the energy harvester soldering first all the surface mount devices and then the true hole components. Set all the jumpers and potentiometers to the desired settings. To activate the load, an end-channel MOSFET is required. The P-Good output pin will act as an enabled signal and should be connected to the gate of the MOSFET, turning on the output of the energy harvester once there is enough power available. Connect the solar panel to the solar input and the backup battery to the charge input. When ready, everything can be tested with some LEDs in parallel, simulating the IoT sensor load. On the Sparkphone development board, solder a 2-pin male header to the sleep enable. Headers can also be added to connect the sensor and to later activate the sleep mode. On the back of the ESP8266 thing, cut the trace to the power LED indicator to save some power. Connect the power and output of the soil moisture sensor to the 3.3 volts ground and ADC pins of the development board. Secure all the components into the final enclosure and start harvesting. For more details on this project, please refer to the description of this video and to the project page.